What's up, peeps? On the Mind Void server here, and yeah, we've got some work to do today. I got actually quite a bit done on the cow farm and such. And as you can see here, we've got a nice little storage area. It's you know I'm gonna decorate it obviously some more, but I just wanted to get some some basic storage set up for when I need it. So you know I've been using this lots, and uh, it's coming quite the hand. It's coming handy. That's what I meant to say. Sometimes I forget how to talk. Um. So yeah, I've got this system going. I mean, this isn't anything special or anything, but these hoppers are just useful as hell. So I, I you know, I thought I'd you know, take advantage of that, and, you know, you can just do stuff like this, you know, just throw a bunch of, you know, that'll all get cooked eventually, if you have the coal for it anyways, which I don't right now, <laughs> but, so yeah, everything just comes in this, comes in this chest right here, and, yeah, it's just, you put it in the top, comes in the chest, awesome, so that's been working out quite nicely for me, um, let's go, I want to put some of this, oh, I just turned it sideways, put some of this food away, Alright, um, I have eight eggs here, so theoretically, according to the Minecraft wiki, we should get one chicken. Yay! I thought I had another chicken in here, that's why I wanted to throw them in here. Maybe he escaped. Oh, okay, so, Minecraft wiki, you were correct in this, in this instance. Usually I get no eggs. But that's okay, um... Oh yeah, I've got a clock in here now, so that's kind of sweet, so you can tell... That so when that dark gets all the way to the end, you know it's uh it's nighttime. So I, I actually just learned how to use those clocks, like as soon as I built that because I never used them before. Like I knew about them, I just never actually used them. I don't know why I just never needed them, but they're pretty cool to have, especially now that you can put them in item frames. Because I don't know, I just never liked having to carry it around on me and stuff like that. That's why I never used them. But now they'll actually be useful. Um, okay. <laughs> So this is the, the cow farm. It's not obviously like I haven't decorated it at all yet. But uh, I've just been working on putting the final touches on it together. And I think it's uh, pretty much pretty much done technical technically wise. Um, but I haven't decided on like there's the lever to, to use it by the way. Um, but I don't want people using it yet just because I'm uh, still testing with it. So... When it's done, yeah, for sure. But right now, I'm still testing with it, so I'm still kind of like doing a lot of breeding. Um, it is done, but like I just want to like make sure about everything that everything's working up to par before I let you know everyone from the server use it. All right, so yeah, I was thinking about using doors, by the way, as you can see, because I was thinking, you know, just like come through here, run, breed, walk out, but look at how they're like glitching through the doors so that's that was bothering me so I'm probably gonna get rid of the doors for that reason and also it's like really easy to let them out if you're gonna let if you walk out so I definitely don't want to use that system um, this is what I'm using for now but this is just um, temporary but you know this is foolproof you know they can't get up and I can shut those so you know they're shut now nothing can jump on them Nice, we've got quite a few cows. Hopefully we'll wait for those guys to grow up a little bit, and I'll show you the kill room and what I did with that. So the kill room's down here, and I just built one of, and I think, you know, I saw the tutorial from Exumavoid on how to build this, but I think it was Panda's design. If I'm correct on that, I think that's what Exuma said. But, yeah, this, this thing is just so simple to build and so cool, like, no red, no repeaters, no comparators, no torches, just pistons, redstone, and tripwire. So simple. Like, you can see exactly how it works. You know, the pistons are right under these three on each side. And, you know, as soon as you step over them. But it's not meant to, to use like that, obviously. It's an ender pearl elevator. So if we just go down the little quick drop I made down to here, we can see how it works, so... You know, you just throw an ender pearl up, and it catches you, just like that. So it's just a nice elevator. And it, it, if you throw the ender pearl, like, at an angle, it can be a little bit glitchy. But, you know, once you get used to using it and how to use it, it's really, really useful. And since we have so many ender pearls, I'm going to be using this thing all the time. And it's so quick. So I'll just show you the kill kill room now. Um, I haven't 
finalized this yet. This is kind of what I'm still testing about mostly. Um, I because I still haven't got like an auto system set up, and that's because I'm waiting for to make sure all the redstone is final changes before I I work on that. So for now, we just gotta <laughs> wire all these random things in here. But for now, we just got a, a hopper. Um, and right now, it's not on auto kill mode. It's on the you know punch them to kill mode, which is what I want because I want to show you that they're a one punch kill and show. This is the switch to, to pull back that iron bar right there, and it just switches it to auto kill mode. So, yeah, let's uh, head on back up here, and I will show you the system. I was just kind of hoping that maybe, see, this is what I'm talking about, but it's fun. It's easy enough to get out of, especially if you have ender pearls, so not a big deal. But anyways, yeah, I was kind of hoping some of those babies would grow up, but it uh, probably not, right? That's uh, wishful thinking. I think I think it takes like 20 minutes or something for them to grow up, but um, we can flick this lever right now and uh, watch it work. I'm just gonna break these leaves so I can we'll flip it. All right, so half the cows are getting pushed down. And I think, I, I haven't fully tested this yet, so this is kind of like one of my first tests. So, there might be some <laughs> very big flaws in it. Um, so that so that's killing one or two of them, but like I think the drop should go down. Oh, you got pushed into the stream. Sweet, so there's just so many of them that it's going to take a little bit, I guess, for them all to make their way down. But they should all make their way down. And I wouldn't advise flicking the lever again until they're all down just because then some of them will get trapped in this wall and just die and you might not get the drops I think so and these guys are not being cooperative so I'm gonna just flick the lever back and we're back to normal and now they should all spread out evenly again sweet what I might do, and this is what Clear the Rest suggested to me suggested to me the other day, or last night actually, but I don't know. I don't know why I built this wheat farm right here, but I was thinking about extending it so there's like only a quarter of it are is what you push out, so it's really easy to like refill again, if you know what I mean. So like if only like a quarter of it instead of half of it was um was being pushed out then you know refilling the system would be very quick and e easy so I might still do that because I mean this wheat farm I built isn't anything special so I can move that down really easily and I might still extend this out but let's go let's go see our cows um, not down that way but down our quick drop and yep yeah. so there they are they're all there and yeah, so if some of them did die, and I'm not sure if those are the ones that got crushed at the top or if, because if any of them took any damage in the pen somehow, like by me just screwing around or whatever, then they will die. But I have tested this and, you know, they shouldn't, if they're full health, they shouldn't die at this fall height. You know, I did a bunch of testing in creative, um, so yeah. This is the height that they're a one punch kill at which is nice so you can just kill them all without having to to have a sword and get XP from it if you really wanted to but you know you don't I would I would really only use this function if you have a looting sword which I don't you know as you can see so what I would suggest doing is having it on the the other mode um, unless you have a looting sword of course but you can just flip it and they'll all die so not a big deal if it's on the wrong mode, I mean, um, yeah, so we got a bunch of beef, bunch of leather, good harvest, reset the system, and now we can breed them all again, and yeah, so that's pretty well done, and the only change that I'm going to make is, like, I, the one I said, so I'm probably going to do that, though, like, I think it would be really beneficial to extend it out further. So I really want 39 levels, because I want to freaking upgrade my stupid pickaxe. I don't know why, I just, I want it to be full. <laughs> but I need uh, 39 levels, plus this diamond to do it. So, blast. 
don't quite have enough yet. Um, so we got all this damn leather. Holy crap. And we can just throw these in there, and they will get cooked as well. Not till after all the cobble's done, though. This is my little my little secret hidey holes for if um any of you guys are sneaking around my base, you know, I'll just just hide in here and I'll be like watching you, you know, and then I'll come sneak up behind you, pounce attack, kill, you know. But yeah, this is a trap chest, and I just kind of wanted to play away, play around with those, so I put like a glowstone lamp next to it, so yay, it lights up when you open it. It's so special. But w which what I think should happen is I tested this though, and it doesn't work. Like, say if this is a trap chest, which I think it is, actually. But, um, say if this was a tra trap chest, um, I think it should output a redstone, or it, it should output a redstone signal every time an item gets put into it, if you know what I mean. So, like, every time the hopper puts an item into it, it should output a signal. I think that would be a cool feature. I don't know if that's considering being implemented or what, but... I think that should for sure for sure be implemented because that's kind of more along the lines of bud switch kind of stuff especially with like the the thing they just added with the with the whole jukebox and making them you know every disc output a different signal strength it sounds like something like it's right along the lines of that so i think it'd be something that is doable what is clear building Clear is building something though here. Don't know what exactly. Oh yeah, we were playing around with um trap chess and Yeah, so this this will only retract when not when two people are are doing it because like this one, this chest and this chest are trap chests, so they both have to be opened simultaneously for this to retract. We were just kind of playing around with different things you could do. But I think you could do some really cool stuff with that. Um, regarding locking different things and just using it, using them as bud switches, I guess. So what's the plan for today? I think the plan for today is to do a little bit of exploring. Because I know of a cave. I know of a cave in a place. And... I really want to find some more, um, what am I going to say? I really want to find some more, I want to find a, du like, dungeons. I, I, that's what I live for on this game, so. And I haven't found really that many good dungeons, so I'm going to go exploring for some dungeons. I usually just find them inadvertently, but, like, I haven't found any inadvertently yet, really, so. I, I found, like, a double cave spider spawner, and then I think I found, like, a regular spider and a, and a cave spider. But, like, it's just like, eh. Those mean nothing to me. But I just want to gear up here. And then we can uh, get ready to go. Um, we got some good boots on. But we could use some better armor. Oh, showsies. I'm just going to make a diamond chest plate, like, unenchanted. Whatever. It's still pretty good protection, so. Um, I don't. Oh, I don't have any arrows, but I guess I'll just take that just in case. And I always like to bring like at least one bucket down when I go caving because then it's just a good habit to get into to bring lava up every time you go down because you never know when you might need lava and it's not like easily accessible. So and sometimes you just like need a lot of lava, you know, like just like a whole ocean full you know what I've never done this before just because it's like such a random thing to do but I might as well do it just for the sake of it just for just cuz just in case we run into any cave spiders um, yeah I just did that I milked it so that's sweet so uh, it's only like a one-time use, right? But, I mean, it still helps if you're, like, gonna die from cave spiders. You know, just drink that real quick and save yourself. You know what? I might as well not even bring my bow. Because if I get any arrows, I'm gonna want to keep them. Because I don't have very many. 
So my partnership with Social Blade, RPM, and Maker Studios went through. I, I don't know why there's three companies. I don't fully understand it, to be honest. Um, but I had to go through three companies that had to approve, I guess. So Social Blade approved me first, and then it went to... Um, I thought I continued this down. But yeah, Social Blade had to approve me, then RPM Networks got me to sign this like seven-page long contract. And then then they sent the, their approval and the contract and everything to Maker Studios, who had to put the final stamp on it, I guess. So, I guess, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I guess they're the big ups, right? So, don't even think about it. Look at that. How do you even want to blow up? You shouldn't even be thinking about it. But that finally went through and I was finally, like, I thought I was already approved. And then I guess, I because I, I didn't realize I had to go through three companies, right? So. But anyways, that's all good now. And I have all the partner features and I am doing everything through RPM and, and all that. So that's good. And so you should be seeing a new background on my page really soon. One of the. One of the cool ones with the cool links, you know. Get out of here. <laughs> I love how I just like don't bother with iron anymore. But yeah, that's gonna be cool to have. Make makes my channel look a little bit more professional. And you know, also I can do other things like I have the ability to create shows. Like not a not a s like a, a playlist but a show. But I guess it has to be like approved by YouTube as a show and stuff. So I don't know how that works. But like I created one and I guess it says like it says pending approval right now. It says unreviewed or something. Something like along those lines. So I don't know if how plausible getting an actual show is. But that would be really cool to have. Another, It's just another thing that makes it look a lot more professional. But I guess I also can apply to get a partner spotlight or whatever. So then I can make a video that will go on the Social Blade channel and give me a little bit more promotion. So I don't know how hard it is to, to get that. But I was looking at the, the YouTubers that, that have been getting the partner spotlight. One of them was actually a guy I used to like. Well, I was kind of a part of a little tiny network that he was starting called Tangible Gaming. Um... But like the main, the owner, not the owner, but the the operator of Tangible Gaining, the head guy in that, um, just did a partner spotlight. But he he actually has quite a bit of subs. He he has like over he has like two k or something like that. Um, but some of the other people that I've seen on there um have the same amount of subs, sometimes even less than me. So. And video views, so I'm sure I could get it if I applied for it. So I'm definitely going to be applying for that. Anything helps. Okay, I'm hearing... Holy shit, look at that room. Look at this room. This is a place for a home. I could live there. That's a cave, right? If i ever seen a cave. That's one of them. Okay, it's a two hit with creepers. Okay, it's good to know. You know what I mean? Okay, that buddy. You think, eh? <laughs> Holy shit, there's a lot of creepers. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, we got a record. Nice. Don't even think about it. Sweet. Sweet. Our first record on the server. Awesome. Blocks. I don't even have a jukebox yet. But I'll be using that for some locking mechanisms for sure. I'm going to definitely... That's like the number one use that you can think of with the new jukebox features. Like, such an easy thing to, to build. You know, just have it so only... Only the one disc, holy shit. Only the one disc that you put in will unlock your door, basically. And the rest of the discs just go to, like, 
an unpowered line, you know? But I think that... I don't know, but... Holy shit. There's just so many creepers in here. I don't know, but I think it made it so, like, the harder discs... The more rare discs are the ones that power the longest line. If I'm right about that. But, I mean... The, th the thing is, you can... You can always extend your signal. That's not a not a problem. So you can always like because I, I I noticed that like the the trap chests they only like output one redstone signal length when you open them. Like so, if you were to put something two redstones away, like redstone dust away, then it would not reach it. But I mean, it's really easy to extend the signal even without repeaters because if you can it's always good to extend your signal without repeaters because you don't want to have a really slow mechanism the more repeaters you put the slower your mechanism is going to be so always want to extend the signal repeaterlessly if you know how to do such things as these okay look at all that coal like at least i'm getting some good stuff out of this like I, I did need lots of coal. I was running low. If I have any mob systems around, <laughs> they're going to be not working too well. Because, like, the amount of caves, cave systems in this is crazy. I don't know if they upped the cave, like, the amount of caves in, like, the new, in 1.4. But I don't remember there being this many caves and them being this big. Seems like wherever I go, there's caves. Like, you used to have to look for a cave. Now it's like, holy shit. It's a good thing, though. Like, I better get that gold that I saw back there. But it's a good thing, because I, I really like... I like that. I mean, why have underground if you're not going to have cool shit in it? Eat gold. If only this were UHC, I'd be so set right now. Being a beautiful cave. All around me. Don't push me into the lava. Another abandoned mine shaft. This is good, good stuff. Cause this is not the same one. I, I wouldn't think. Cause I'm pretty far away. Um, what level are we at? Twenty three. So next episode, I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do is finish up the killing place for the iron farm. Just so it's not, it's so it stops being such a mess, basically. And it's right by spawn, so it's kind of annoying how much of a mess it is, I guess. And I think I'm the only one who knows how to do it, so people are probably waiting on me to do it. Um, I mean, there's probably a million and one, there's a million and one ways you could do it, but uh, I have a certain way I'd like to do it. All right, you guys. Well, I was hoping to find. A nice freaking spawner for you guys. <gasps> no, it's not what I meant to do. Okay, we're safe. <laughs> Holy, look at this ravine though. Slime junk. That Skeletor looked black for a second. It was really weird. I think it was just the shading. Screwing with my eyeballs. I really want some good spawners at my place. Or like some, you know, access to good spawners around my place and we don't have like a really good um spider farm on the server yet and i'm not picky about where these farms should be actually like i wouldn't mind if they were at someone else's place or by spawn or wherever but i definitely want to um i'd love to build like a quad spider farm that would be very nice or more preferably more holy fuck Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't know if this is a zombie farm or what. There's a lot of freaking mobs in over here. God the frick. Yeah, there's gotta be a zombie farm. Maybe not, but because this is a pretty big area. Look at that. Another one. Yeah, this area is huge, so I don't know what I'm talking about. It's probably just, probably just that.
Holy, good thing I turned around there. Look at that, okay. Where did he just come from? He's coming from above. They're coming from somewhere. You know they are. Look, see, look at that. Okay, yeah, they're coming. There's a zombie spawner. It's gotta be. I don't even care. Okay, so this is where we came out. Don't know where the frick we are. But this guy's gonna get it. It's like impossible to like dodge them now. Like, even if you like super maneuver and jump around and zigzag, you know. Do all the right things. It don't matter. This place look is pretty nice actually. I don't know where exactly I am. <laughs> Do I have any? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get some dogs for the way back, or at least one. Ah, oh, you can be mine too. No, I you got hurt by the creeper. You can be mine too. Here you are. Okay, I need your help. Need your help, dogs. Get them. Sick them. Don't you see my dogs? My dogs kill you. Yeah, have some steak. Have some steak. Yeah, you too. You have some steak. Make love. Make a baby. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, you can have some too. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I knew I heard it. Yes, we found his off a spawner. Oh yeah. So we got some good stuff. Maybe feather falling too, and bane of anthropods. It's always good when it's free, right? So, can't beat that. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's in this chest? Infinity One. Sick. That's awesome to find in a chest. Um, Iron, don't really care about. Unbreaking Two, I will take that proudly. Well, I'll, ha I'll have the coordinates in this video, so remember, <laughs> I'll remember to watch this video if you ever want to find this spawner again. Jesse, um, all right. Well, I'm I'm lost, and I can't find my way back. But I will find my way back once I figure out what chords I need to go towards. Um, I think I need to go this way though. But I just kind of wanted to talk about something that's not helping a few of the members on here. Um, I guess it's just bothering me a little bit. Maybe it's just today. Maybe I'm just grumpy. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but basically, earlier I guess. One of the members was at my area and looking at Skype, and then a creeper exploded and he blew up part of my area. And he fixed it, but it wasn't the same as it was before. And I guess it was more the principle that bothered me, like why would you ever like leave your Minecraft screen while you're standing right beside someone else's stuff? Like buy your stuff, whatever. It's your stuff, but buy someone else's stuff, that's just kind of like... I don't know, I just kind of see it as a little bit rude, I guess. Because, I don't know, I get that getting creeper happens, but, like, that's just asking for it to happen when you just, like, leave your screen right beside someone's stuff. Like, I don't know. And also, um, using my cow farm. Well, I, I know no one's seen this video yet, saying, asking people not to, not to use it yet, but... Even then, you should you should probably ask before using it because I'm I'm not done building it and yeah just somebody just used it and it just kind of bothered me because I didn't say anyone could use it I'm not done building it I I'm trying to breed up the cows because I'm still testing things with it um, they're not ready they weren't ready for harvest and someone just harvested them so it's just like I don't know just kind of bothers me that no one asks people just do shit and expect that it's okay. Um, you know, when when the cow farm's done, and I say that everyone can come use my cow farm, awesome. Then you don't need to ask when I announce that everyone can use it, but if I haven't made such an announcement, I would definitely ask before doing that, because now I'm going to have to spend a while breeding them up again before I can do more testing when I kind of wanted to just do testing when I got back. But anyways, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. I guess it's just the principle of things that that bothers me. Um, 
But yeah, I just I just want a really friendly server and that just doesn't I don't know, that's just not encouraging the kind of oh, we're at Zeal's place. The kind of uh, thing I I want to encourage cuz Yeah, I don't know. Just when you go to use someone's stuff, you ask and I don't know. Just things like that are are just little things you can do to you know basically help us be happy with our choice to have you on the server basically is what I'm saying um, help like help us enjoy the fact like help us feel like we made a good decision you know because I really like everyone on the server I guess just some people have different ways of doing things and um, yeah I guess it's just some it's just like when you um, kind of like move in when you move in with like a new friend. I don't know. A lot of you guys probably won't uh, know what this is like, but me and my I have one of my best friends is uh, is clear the rest who's on the server and we're real good friends. But then when we um, when we moved in together in France, we started to not get along as well as we normally would. It's dark in here, man. Um, but that's just because we have different ways of doing things and eventually we learned to deal with it and it was whatever but uh yeah <laughs> uh, it looks kind of cool actually sneaky dogs sneaky dogs um but yeah so it's like the same thing like when you're playing on a server I guess people gotta get everyone got, has to get used to the way everyone does things and and stuff. Maybe I'm being a little bit too, I don't know, proper wanting to ask for such things as these, but I guess it's where, I guess where I live in Canada, it's just like, we're, what the hell? Why? Then in Canada, I guess we're really accustomed to being like overly polite. Like when we, when we're walking down the street or like going for a walk, someone walks by, you say hi to them or good morning. That's just the way we do things. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Don't really know. But those little baby dogs are dying. I'm sorry, baby dogs. Have another baby dog that will drown. <laughs> uh, Alright, guys. I'm out of here. I finally got 39 levels so I can enchant this boss pickaxe. So, later. <laughs>